Okay, let's talk about some liquor distillation. Distillation is simply a reduction process, like you do for uh, sauces. Reduction is uh, a liquid that has been boiled until the volume is reduced by. Single malt scotch is generally preferred by scotch lovers because it retains the heavy, smoky flavor. Let me give you a, a couple of ideas on bartender's guides. You should for sure have one around. Rum drinks, Bahama Mama, several different rums, including a high proof rum, coconut, coffee liqueurs, and lemon and pineapple juice. Uh, the test question might say which one of these drinks is made with a coffee liqueur. How to float a drink. One of the uh, fun things, if you're already a bartender, you probably know how to do this. But if not, uh, I don't know if the Admiral would want you to do this, but you can certainly have some friends at home, and who knows, the Admiral might uh, think that's pretty cool that you know how to do it. So a bartender has to master two skills to float one alcohol on top of another to layer a drink. So the bartender must be able to pour the alcohol over the back of a spoon so it flows down into the drink evenly otherwise if you just blop it in there it'll sink some gin drinks a belmont cocktail is gin raspberry syrup and cream gin martini is gin small amount of vermouth it can be shaken or stirred garnished with a green olive or a twist when i was bartending uh, somebody like once or twice said I'll have uh, gin straight up. Uh, thank you, you're an honest person. <laughs> you know, Some of them, uh, just one or two drops of vermouth. Now you are not going to notice one or two drops of vermouth in there. You're just not wanting to admit you're just drinking that stuff straight. So yeah, usually you put like four or five drops. You don't put a whole lot in there. A Gibson is the same as a gin martini, but is garnished with several cocktail onions. Tom Collins is gin with lemon juice and club soda, sweetened sometimes and served over ice. Now 
know, some of these, um, you're probably not going to get in a kitty bar, uh, but that's kitty with a K. <laughs> but you are um, going to get them if you're serving some uh, older folks. Uh, probably the Gibson Top Collins uh, are for the older generation. Um, the test question might be which one is not made with gin. Not which one of these, but uh, which drink listed A, B, C, D um, is not made with uh, gin. Whiskey drinks. I was prompted to uh, mention here that you know we're not doing the um, younger generation um, new drinks that they've come up with. Uh, Let's talk about a few drink formulas. When I only ever attended bar at one location, did that while I was going to college, and but I was at the faculty um, lounge, uh, so we had the older crowd, and I thought I was pretty decent as a bar.
Okay, now we're talking tequila. Margarita is tequila, lime or lemon juice, or sweet and sour with triple sec, and optionally and normally you rim it with salt and garnish with a lime. Variations would include a gold. Types of glasses to put your spirits in. Cocktail glass, which is cone-shaped cocktail glass made for a drink that's shaken or stirred with ice in another container and then strained into a glass. Margarita glass is an oversized champagne glass for margaritas on the rock. It's important that you know your garnishes. The people know for their drink, uh, they're experts in what garnish it's supposed to have. And if you give them something else, uh, you, they tend to let you know. So putting the correct garnish in a drink shows you're both professional and you care about the customer. You're not just throwing anything in there. Some common garnishes would be Bloody Mary gets a celery stick. Mocktails means there's no liquor in it, and this would be for your kids or your designated driver. Fruit smoothies, many fruits mixed together. Yogurt, orange juice might be added. Fuzzy lemon fizz is peach nectar 